car country? Anybody heard about this? Okay, few. How many people are, so if you are a developer and once in a while somebody asks you, can you teach an introductory Python course? Anybody? And who has done his own Python 101 course materials? It's tiring. How many of you are professional educators? Okay, good. But the problem with education is that uh, unlike in open source, educators don't have a culture of sharing course materials or exam questions or test questions or things like this. And uh, people who do computer science education are in the very best position, if you're an educator, to spread the knowledge of how uh, best practices uh, can be implemented in, your, in, 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 the, in the field of education. So Software Carpentry is a, is a quite an old organization. It's been around for maybe 20 years or something like this. And they, their goal is to teach a, a scientist to, to write a better quality code because when you do, a, I don't know, when you study biology or chemistry or, or social science, uh, more and more you are forced to learn how to code, but nobody's teaching you. And nobody's teaching you anything about GitHub or, I mean, how to use a terminal. So it's now a, uh, uh, they, they, they now run, uh, so Software Carpentry is a, is a non-profit organization uh, run by volunteers, so organizing two, two or three day long workshops. And uh, they, all, all of their materials are, are shared. So you can just go Software Carpentry and type on lessons. And all of the course materials are already online. And uh, so typical, uh, typically it's what they cover is a Unix shell, uh, introduction to programming using either Python or, or R. Uh, they cover basic SQL if you want to do some uh, data management stuff. And it's usually, the, the, the nice thing about software carpentry is that they also give you all the uh, ideas how you should structure your, your course. Like if you have a one-day workshop or two-day workshops, they will have a template from 9 to 10, talk about this, then take a break and things like this. And you just can reuse the materials just like we reuse code when we program, more and more educations could use similar materials to teach uh, the basics of don't reinvent this wheel uh, yourself. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very useful way of actually getting the uh, high quality materials. Um, so all of the materials, so are the way they organize them, it's on GitHub. Uh, that's a Unix shell. Let's, let's have a look at the Python materials. Um, so, for example, programming with Python. It's basically uh, organized as a, as, as a. So they use uh, they use Jekyll, uh, this the static site generator to to manage their materials. But that's mostly because they assume that the educators they can't clone this into a terminal, so they would actually use it. Please edit it directly on GitHub and make a pull request like this. So that you don't even need to install any of this. But if you, if you want, you can. They give all the instructions how you can do it. And it's really nice. Uh, all of your lectures are already structured, as in, like, start with this, stop here, ask this question, make sure that everybody understands. It's a, it's a very nice way of uh, uh, teaching, especially those of us who don't have any background in, 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 in education. Like, what does it mean to teach it effectively? Right? If you, you only start thinking about this once you've done a few tutorials and you say, Teaching is actually hard because you have to make sure everybody in the class follows and uh, like you're not wasting your time because nobody's interested in what you're doing. So creating uh, high quality teaching materials are, are, are as hard as actually writing good software in, in, in some ways. Um, they have a sister project called uh, Data Carpentry and they are focusing more the and they're focusing on uh, uh, data analytics, so data cleanup, how do you load from CSV or JSON, or what JSON is in the first place. So focusing more on analytics skills, but again, it's for people who do not have uh, a technical or computer science background. And it's all on GitHub. Last thing is that they actually pay a lot of attention on, uh, on uh, instructor training. So there is a full course on uh, uh, how do you become a better instructor. And it's, it's a very, very useful to at least read it yourself on 
a little bit about uh, what do you need to know about educational psychology, how often do you need to take breaks, uh, uh, a little bit about memory, how much stuff you can have on your slides so that you don't overload the brains of your, of your students. Things like this which we don't think about as, as, as uh, developers, but you still we are always asked to teach, right? So if you are in giving tutorials, uh, check them out. It's really useful. Thank you.